What's up YouTube? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the TMC Vecton Titan UV Sterilizer. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the TMC Vecton Titan. This is the 850 model. Now, I decided to give this UV sterilizer a shot because based on my research, this is one of the only UV sterilizers on the market that has a similar ozone effect because it uses a titanium mechanism inside for the UV sterilization. This mechanism that it uses in the UV is going to be similar to running something like ozone. This in my hand is a Ozotech ozone generator and as you can see it's in my hand. <laughs> now I used to use that on my aquarium but decided to take it off because while running it I was only running it for about 15 minutes to a half hour a day and I still found myself overdosing ozone on my aquarium. I had fish dye. I was also using an ORP probe and I tried pegging my ORP at 350. I've tried pegging my ORP down around 300 and no matter what I tried I was unsuccessful. I went through a pair of blue jaw triggers. I also killed a blue powder tang. So ozone for me, it got ripped off my aquarium. That was what intrigued me about this is because based on my research, it does increase your ORP. So I figured let's give it a shot. There wasn't a whole lot of videos and feedback on this UV sterilizer besides just marketing videos of the company advertising the UV sterilizer itself. I'm going to go ahead and get this thing unboxed and then we can work on getting it put onto my water box refill X. Let's go ahead and open up the box and see everything that we get in here. So inside the box we get the UV and then also inside this part We get a bunch of pieces that will also help us assemble it and get this put together. This is a view of the back of the UV sterilizer. This is a quick look of the Titan UV assembled with all the pieces. This 90 degree elbow here is an optional piece. I just went ahead and assembled it on there. I may have to move it up here or maybe keep it there. Or Take it off all together. The barb fittings also come with a set of different sizes so that way you can adjust it to your system so you get anywhere from half inch up to an inch and a quarter and whatever you don't use it is also recommended that you cut it off so that way you don't have any kind of weird issues with back pressure. Alright I'm going to take this up and we're going to find a way to get this thing integrated into my system. All right, right when I was getting ready to install it I noticed as I was coming upstairs I was able to look through the purple casing and I noticed that this end and this end was not connected. So when you go to install this be sure to check that these are connected. It's probably left that way by design. And I probably would have noticed that if I would have first read the instructions. Alright, I got the UV sterilizer installed. I have been running this now for a few weeks. I will definitely have to say this thing definitely does pack a punch. So I ended up installing the UV sterilizer right here. My manifold on my aquarium is down there on the other side. So I ran a half inch PVC hose and it runs all the way down here. I made a couple 3D printed brackets that fit on the outside of this UV which allows me to mount the UV sterilizer onto the back of my aluminum profile stand here. It's been chugging along and it's been working out really really well. As far as ORP is concerned I set this up on my Hydrus Aquarium controller and we can take a look at the configuration that I used. To so if we take a look at the outlet I set it up as an ozone generator. I set it up to turn on at a value of 250 and then I set it up to turn it off 
at a value of 350. If we come and take a look, we can see that the aquarium controller has turned on and off the UV sterilizer a couple of different times. And then if we look at my water box ORP, this is the graph of the ORP value that the UV sterilizer is on. Now, how much this impacts ORP, that is still something I'm testing. It does seem to have some impact on your ORP. As time goes on and continue using this UV, I should get a better understanding of how this will impact my overall ORP on my aquarium. But on the bright side, everything in my aquarium is happy. It is clean. And I also ended up picking up another blue jaw trigger and he is right back there and we haven't had any more catastrophes while taking off the ozone and running this new UV sterilizer. But for anyone that's on the market considering this UV sterilizer, so far I do recommend it. It has been a really good upgrade for me on my aquarium. Before purchasing this UV sterilizer, I was running a Lifeguard Aquatics UV sterilizer and then I was also running uh, ozone on my aquarium as well. The main thing that caught my attention with this UV and why I wanted to try it was there wasn't a whole lot of information available about how this would be a, a safer alternative to running ozone on your aquarium without the harmful effects of running ozone. So I decided to give it a shot. For anyone interested, I can do like a six month and a one year update on this UV as well. So far, I've been running it for about a month and I haven't seen any issues. And everything in my aquarium is nice and healthy. I hope this video helps you out. And if it does, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help out a small channel like mine. Until the next one, guys, I'm out. Peace.